Hello, I'm Chris with Solar Tech TV. What would Halloween be without a video from Solar Tech TV? Probably missing out. Today we are going to do a lamination video uh, for solar cells laminating to aluminum. And shortly afterwards we will have a Halloween video. Uh, here we've got uh, the solar panel and uh, the printed circuit board and we are going to put uh, an epoxy resin down on the back side of the board as well as the aluminum panel and then we are going to screw it the two pieces together what we're using here is called pour on and uh, you use it actually on uh, well, you can use it on wood. Uh, you can all use, also use it on metal. It's a two-part epoxy resin. I'm using uh, just a one-inch throw-away type bristle brush so that once we're finished with this, we can just throw this away. So let's go ahead and mix it up. You just need uh, something to mix it in. And equal parts. And uh, this is a semi-flexible solar panel, somewhat more on the rigid side because this has a printed circuit board. Let's go ahead and mix them up. After the show here today, after our classroom instruction, we're going to have uh, a video for you. It stars Mr. Spock. Alright, so we got our two part epoxy here, and uh, we're just going to mix it up with our brush. I like to mix it for about a minute at least. Alright, so let's go ahead and start putting stuff, some of this on here. Actually, go ahead and pour some directly on here and get it started. Pour just uh, about half of it there, maybe a three to four ounces. I like to also put it on the leads that are coming through the printed circuit board. Our blocking diode and the output of uh, the solar panel. Just uh, put an extra bit on there. That way it's weatherproofed. All right. I think we can pretty much put that down. Got about 20 minutes to work with your your resin before it starts to harden. Yeah. Coming up after the classroom instruction here, Mr. Spuck. If you haven't seen Mr. Spuck, he's got his own TV show now. He's going to go fishing on a distant planet. It's our Halloween special, Mr. Spuck. On the dark planet Mermius. After our classroom instruction, gotta get that out of the way. Now this is how I do laminates on the, onto aluminum. I like to make the solar panel out of the solar cells and then adhere them to the aluminum. Now if you've been watching our classroom instruction in the past we do have uh, building a solar panel from solar cells and adhering them directly to the aluminum. No printed circuit board in there. Alright we've got all four of them on there. I just need to tighten these down.
have to tighten these down before we put any more epoxy down on there. I've got self-locking nuts on here, so it's somewhat difficult to uh, twist them together. So far I've just got the laminate underneath of this so I can move this around and it's not too messy yet. Alright, we've got the solar panel secured to the aluminum and uh, still got about 10 minutes we can work the laminate. So I'm just going to put it on along the edges. You do want to put it over top of a blocking diode. We've got our output from the printed circuit board hooked up to a diode, a blocking diode. And uh, the anode side goes to the positive output of the solar panel. And the cathode side goes to the positive output of the battery. So you got 12 volts here, 18 volts here. And we have our negative, which is ground zero coming out to the negative terminal of the battery. Helps to seal it up and just a little more weatherproofing. This should last you quite a few years. There you have it. All right, stay tuned for Mr. Spock.